On the continuation of our graphics design with mobile phone, fully sponsored by the International Online University. And today I'll be talking about uh, color. Color. So let's quickly go back to our module so as we remind ourselves what we are actually adding today if we are still following so we've done two or three classes before all right so I will be doing something called color Work with images. So we have done the introduction to the Pixel Lab. We've done the layers and transparency, and we've, done, we've worked with images. Now today is color theory and view games. So now I want to talk about color theory. So it entails with what is actually color. What are the basic colors that we have? And how do we get the other colors? So the basic color that we have there are just the red, green, and blue. And that's why when you are working with color, you tend to see something like RGB. And also at times you see something like XA, so so so, so X so, so, in terms of color number, color coding. So RGB means red, green, and blue. These are the three primary colors. So it is from this three that other colors are being gotten from. All right. Now let me bring in a shape. Imagine that I bring a shape, and this shape is here right now. Voice good. Now this shape is white as it is now. I now want to give it a color. Here I am in color. So I first of all come here. Now here. Is the center. You see this. Come here. You see this small thing at the center. Because I'm taking this. so the center here is where this thing is. As it is at the center. So the more I move, if I move around here, you can see the color. Now, not something. I want you to notice. We, have, we say we have something like RGB as the three color. Then, so at time you see RGB A. Now. For this pixel app, they are RGB A, red, green, and blue. RGB A. Now, look at it. It's like red. This is red. Remember, there's everything. This is red. 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 Good. If here is red, now, and here is what blue. 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 And here is what green, 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 green. So now the three things are working together inside this circle. Now let me take this thing and be looking at this place. You check this area. You see the color red, mm, the coding for color red starts from 0 to 255. Now the green also 0 to 255 then the blue 0 to 255 now you can see here now we're having 255 one 35 then the last one here which is when you see 34 it is the transparency transparency now and here also look here yeah this line one two three so it is with lightness Darkness and transparency. Here is this. Is, this is the actual color here that you have. We have this list is the actual color, and here is either you want it to be lighter, darker. And here is how you want it to be transparency. Now let's say we are we are already here now. Or let me leave this one two two five zero zero. All right, I'm coming. 
we do let's see I want the red you can see red I said this is what I'm saying red green and blue the green is at 55 the red is one I want to be zero I don't want to see anything red zero good and here this blue I want it to be zero as well so I'm having full red now the full red is what O O F F O O. I don't start getting it in this hexadecimal also hmm, is when you if you are in secondary school you will see something like binary zero and one right zero and one good these two so the same thing this number starting from zero to sixteen now in binary ten is a 11 is B, 12 is C, 13 is D, 14 is E, and 15 is F. Yes, F is the highest number that you can find in this exam. So from 0 to 9, from 0 to 15, so it's 15. That's how you see F. Now, this is 0, F, F, 0 for green alone. You can see. Now let's go back and make this thing to be ordinary red. Let's see two two two. Let's see when I put two at that instant. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. So once I put two, you'll be looking at the back of RF. Let me put two. You see two will be there. If it is now nine, nine should also be there. When is 10? So something 9, Abby. Now let's say I say instead of 9, I say okay, 1, 0. You can see instead of 10, 10 is what? A. It brings A. I don't know if I'm getting it. It brings A instead of 10 because it is on hexadecimal number scale. Alright? So, but because I want ordinary red, so everything should be 255. Two five five good. So we yeah, I'm at a now. I'm having yes F F O O. All right. So this combination of red and green gives me something like a light yellow. Now let me make this one to be ordinary. Hey now F F you can see, and if it's blue alone that I need the same thing. Only the last F will be F F. I don't know if you are getting me. Hmm? Two, five, five. Now, before we do that, you can see that FF, OFF is like a pink, right? Red and blue give us something like a. Is it a pink? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not that good in color. So you should be getting the gist now, how this thing works. Alright? Now, you can see this is a pure blue. Pure these are the main the main colors this three color this three color so now as it is now you can see those color how they are changing this color how they are changing now if let's say I'm now going with 100 100 right 100 100 so I read it should be 100 I want to use color then my blue my green also should be what 100 and uh, my green also is 100 so you have 64 64 look how what what print what what is brought up here so this is how different colors come to play they under these three so they are combination will not give you the hexadecimal value. The mixture of those three color will give you the hexadecimal value that are there. All right. So this is how color works. Now another thing that you should know. Now, I've told you the fire color. The fire color are the red, green, and blue. So other colors are being generated from their combination, from the mixture. Good. Now another thing that you must know. Okay. Just as I've said earlier, that here. Is the main color your main color hmm? 
Then here is how lighter or darker you want it to be. This space is how you want it to be. And here is the transparency value. You want to give it more transparency. Now you can see 100. This thing is at the middle. Mm -hmm. So now you see 100, 100, 125. Now here let's say this color now i want it to to be lighter right so i now take it down here now let's look at something so here you see the more i'm making it dark so you can see lighter it's getting to become whiter right and so i'm seeing 255 255 everything 255 255 so i'm coming to what to white when i have everything to the peak value it gives me white so what do you think we have for if i want uh, if i want black color so let's check instead of 255 which is highest color let's take it to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. what's we have for you can see we have one as 255 right so this one that is at 255 let's take the first bar down here see 25 okay yes the first this one is 255 is that maybe let's see it should be the transparency okay let me go here 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 yes transparency of zero you can see so which means it won't have any color so let's take it back so that's zero 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 so this is how it works it works hmm? so the transparency at that instant is what brings about there so now that you let me click on okay this is our color so this is how this color works well, that's how they work now and those things that now it now uh, the, the, the question is now how do you know the color that will fit a certain design that you want to do a certain design that we want to do how do you know the best color to use okay so most time if you are not uh, uh, you are not already a a let me ask how do I call it you are not a guru or a, you are not already a, an expert you are still a beginner so most time you just have to go to some websites to go and check for sample or whatever you want to do and replicate them and this is what we'll be doing in this our first assignment inshallah you go to pinterest or canva.com you pick a design and replicate them a simple design don't go and bug yourself with complicated design a simple design or let's say i will design a kind of id card for you here and that's an id card you will not replicate it now before that let's continue with uh another method to know the color that you need to use for certain design now here i'm in our group right so in this our group i just sent in some color so we call it color psychology so i got this thing from fred so among those uh expert graphic designer i'm following so the psychology of color so the first thing which is the red red is what is romantic so it is a widely used color in food and drink industry so if you detect that you want to specialize you want to niche down your design to the food and drink industry so it will help you to communicate energy excitement urgency strength love lust desire and passion so and red is most so you can see this different variety of red that we have so the the first one here now you can see so this one mm -hmm, desirable and here is the romantic red intense red and the strong red so this one now should look out this one ah be differ a bit by bit now let's move on to the next one we have the blue 
Now the lawyer. So the blue is used by the tech companies. Tech, 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 tech. So that's how you see in my uh, logo. You see it kind of blue around around it. So often used by tech companies, banks, and healthcare industry. And blue is associated with honesty. Honesty. So when you want to do anything, tech, 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 tech. So blue should be part of your is a color now green i don't think i need to show it on say when it's come to green so we all know it deals with nature abby so often seen in health industry and brown related to sustainability green symbolizes growth freshness nature and generosity so eco-friendly natural healthy and worthy so this is the thing now then yellow hmm. <laughs> so it is often used by brands that promote happiness and fun so yellow conveys a sense of joy and radiance and can be associated with youth and optimism so it's very really cheerful being optimistic being energetic and being fun so also the purple 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 i love purple so it is using a entertainment industry purple can stimulate imagination and it's associated with fantasy mystery spirituality and reality so you can see so you should know whatever you are conveying at least the best code that goes with it so this is where you get to understand them then when we talk about orange is also be, uh, being used by the creative brands all right so it seems as enthusiastic spontaneous and uplifting it and it is associated with freedom fun and optimism so then the pink also you can see is used by feminine brands pink can be perceived as intuitive soft compassionate and caring it's also strongly associated with romance so you see anything that we are doing with female brands or the likes so it's the best color to suggest for them oh, oh, oh pink then the brown mm -hmm. comfort so relaxing dependable rugged and simple so and it's often associated with maturity protection and wisdom so the reason why i love this one is that before it's in terms of external painting i love this brand because you it won't stack on time you won't know it is dirty <laughs> brown so it's why it's healthy and comforting it's healthy and comforting so these are what these are color what the portray these are what the color portray i hope you get to know the, uh, uh, you get to enjoy this session a bit till next our next class so but before then i promise to do some short short of uh, a, a bit of let's say a kind of a uh, personal identity card right okay let's go back to our Aha. now let's see i want to start with this id card all right so now this is here now let me change this color the feel i want to change it back to white but um, opacity will not be questioned there is no opacity but the stroke i will increase it and the stroke color i'll change it to white all right all right so after i'm done with that the next thing I'll give you the radius. Blood radius. No, I'm not going to blood radius. 
Okay, now this is it, right? Now, now one thing you know when you're designing, you must always create border to your design, such that everything might be, be seen. Not that one of these will, not that it will actually overwhelm and uh, <coughs> join with your edges. No, it's not. It's not okay like that if you're if you're designing no design no i've done this so the next thing i still need to bring in a shift right so i want a shape a shape and this turn around i want a circle okay now this is a circle inside this circle so let me resize this. All right, and zoom in. So this is this is so cool. Okay, now I need a kind of text for my name. So if now say Leia uh, is, I take it up. Okay. Okay, now this text. I call. I write my name there. My name is um, Saeed Adolfa. Okay. 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 Okay, now when you are designing, you can see that you, at times you might be at issue with your design being moving all around. So that is why when you are designing like this, you come to this area, then you click on this lock on every shape. So this one lock, this one has been locked as well. So it, it won't be moving, it cannot be moved. Mm, good, they have been locked now. So now this is my name, all right. My name, my name. So I cannot write this aid. Then after that, let me duplicate this. This is the text. I click on the text. So I'm gonna duplicate, copy, then take it down. So I'll write my short title. Is a physics and mathematics teacher at Darul Ikma Arabic and Islamic group of schools. Okay, now I've been doing this as a designer, something called of effect. You know this. The one A and the one up, they are both the same size, so it is not okay. It should be in the format that the one after this one will be bigger than the other. Okay, now here this one I cannot make it any smaller. Good. Then let it be wider. All right. So I think this is okay now. This is okay now. Let me go back here and lock these two texts as well. Then unlock this circle okay now this circle i need this circle now i want to do what i want to do is that i want to change this to picture all right so don't forget this aspect of this area for this area so because i want to work with this circle i need to click on this one right so now click on it so i don't allow click on it so here you can see this texture click on it now insert my picture so i think i should find the picture close by yes oh my god let us start now okay let me go up here gallery 
Again, let's go with this. Good. Now, one thing is this. You know, this thing right, uh, right there is like a circle, right? So, a circle comes from a square. So, I need to make this thing in form of in form of square. So, I have to copy this image to be in the form of square so that it will be okay. I think this is a bit okay. This is okay, sir. Just enter. Now, you can see it doesn't come to the center of the circle. So this is where I still need to do what to work more on it. Then again, I edit the image again. Save the texture. Scale. I see scale. Scale. You can see. So I want to. Now we should embed her. Uh, it's embed now. Try to make it center, but that's not how it is. So that is why if you want to do something like this, the picture must be squared. Must be squared. Alright. Scale. I don't know if I get in. So Let me see, I'm done. Let me go and check. So, that will be <coughs> album. Other albums. Yes. So I want to make it like a square, so it will be very easier, right? See, this one seems to be square a bit, right? Right. One, two, three, one, two, three, nine. Oh, let me just come here one by one. I see here yeah? one by one. I mean, this area. This one, one by one, good. This one, I would we make it perfect. You can now scale it the way I want. So, this is how we make it, it should make sense. Good, okay, yes, nice. Wow, nice. Now that I'm done with this, so the next thing to do is now the edges. I can do the edges. Uh, I'm coming. This texture, I want to check something. Hundred percent embed. Okay. Okay. Now let me talk about on the edges as well. So <coughs> the text is white. So for this thing to be okay, based on the color uh, that we just did now. So we are working with that right now, right? So let me give open this uh, scaling. So here seems to be. Centralize here, all right. Okay, good. Then this text, on oh, no, oh, no. this text, okay. Okay, nice one, nice one, nice one. Okay, now 
We are trying to make everything look nicer. So that will ikman, you know that will ikman we uh, uh, the color is white and a kind of uh, uh, is it purple yeah purple not pink now or pink pink it seems like a pink uh, I, can't, I can't really see but now it's standing uh, I'll see it's like a, it's, it seems to be a blue or purple or excuse me blue not purple not blue so now let's see let me remove this now. Good. Here now, I want to work on this background. So the color for this background is this is the color. I'll do, I know I'm not using gradients. Then here I come. Here is that with my color. Sati. Sati. Something like this. Okay. Nice one, we are making sense. We are making sense. We are making sense. So, this is my home. Hold on now. This name, this name, I need to change something here. I need to make it bolder. All right, so I come to this A, then the text. The font, okay. I'm not, I'm not working with font style. I want it to be bold. No, it is poor do, but you can see this and this text code I use. I'm not sure. So you can that is that line. So no line. No, wood. Okay. Now let's change the fonts. Let's change the fonts. The font that will accept. Good. Okay. Yes, this is perfect. Now you can leave the rest like this. It's very simple and straightforward. Very simple and straightforward. You only do it with two color mm, and two fonts. So this is how I finish my home. So once you watch this video to this level, I want you to design your home as well and give a short barrel of your this. So the last thing to do is to now uh chime them together as one. Now here, first thing that before you do that, you must make sure you see this thing as a raw file. Now, whenever you want to redo it, you get uh, you be able to con uh, continue from where you stop. Maybe you want, maybe you ask uh, your other colleagues. Maybe your client say, ah, I don't like this thing to be here. I want it to be uh, at, at this place. So here, when you are saving, mm -hmm. you save as project first. Now, project now ID card. There will ignore ID card. ID card. Okay. Good. Now. Hmm. I need to put something. This thing is not correct. It's not finished yet. Uh, it's supposed to be my position, which is mass and physics teacher, right? Good. Thank God. Now. I had something. Say, copy, take it down. Yes, I did. Mathematics and physics. Now here, the size must be smaller than this. Good. Now making sense. All right. Good. Mathematics and physics teacher. So nice one. Let me see it. So, 
if the screen is remain half of click on it okay okay now it has saved so now after you've done that one that it has saved so the next thing to do is now to actually save it as a to bind everything together mm -hmm. yeah everything mm -hmm. you first click on this one this one once you click on it so you it will now bring a box so that you can you can see it's been box this box as long you now click you click on when you click on then the next thing is to click on this to match them all right so mm -hmm. are you sure you want to match this uh, head objects okay so this thing is not something you can you do okay you can do it but after you have done forget about it too after you left this place you cannot redo it okay much okay done to see what I should do that I try to okay now everything has been matched together all right so they are now together so the next thing is to now print on now see Yeah. Save as image. Now when you're when you when you're not saving as image, so I always yeah this area click it. Then here also dimension the first. So here now the first one try to use PNG. I love PNG. PNG is much sharper than JPG. PNG. Then the this thing use choose ultra it's very sharp mm -hmm. then after i don't click on set to gallery to share so i'll set to gallery mm -hmm. so i'm done with it that is all for now what you just use we used to shape and text we use square cycle and the uh, text that's all the next class enjoy your day have a wonderful day and bye for now so your assignment is to reproduce something like this for me and share it within the group have a wonderful day and bye for now